Hello, hello, my beloved sacred masculines. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about a really sexy, sensual practice to support you getting into your body, connecting with all your senses, and really getting present, getting present with your body and with your sensuality, which of course really opens up our experience of sacred sexuality, right? So I am in India right now on pilgrimage and I have, um, I don't know if you can hear the honking in the background, but <clears throat> in Varanasi nothing is ever quiet here, so, um, so I apologize if that's coming through for you. Um, anyway, every morning I've been going to the temple near here, a really gorgeous, beautiful Durga temple that is really, really special to me and has been for many years. Um, the energy there is just like so palpable and off the charts and just really it's a chaotic place because temples in India tend to be, but the the peace that's there and the love is just so palpable and it's a it's a gorgeous, gorgeous energy, beautiful frequency. So I go over there in the morning and I just sit. I sit in all that's happening and just get really present with it and, and marinate in it and savor it and just like, mm. but today I was really just really connecting because sometimes I forget you know we can be in our heads and blah 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 and even even if we've been on this path for a long time and been doing practice for a long time it's still you still kind of have to remind yourself to come back into the moment keep coming back into the moment keep coming back into the moment coming back into the body coming back into the senses so just sitting there is just like mm, really allowing myself to absolutely indulge in all of my senses although I did close my eyes so I could really hear smell feel just all of the gorgeous gorgeous energies the sounds the smells there's beautiful perfumes going on in there there's incense flowers the feeling of the there was a little bit of a sprinkle on my skin which was so nice and welcome because it's been very hot and humid here so some nice little rain sprinkling down was really gorgeous on my skin and feeling the energy on my skin and moving through my entire system body mind spirit through my soul you know feeling listening to everything all the bells the people chanting the people talking the people moving around the there's just so much going on there and it's such a gorgeous practice to just really sit and open to it open our senses and like reach out with our senses reach out with our ears go out with our ears and with the sound like allowing the sound to come to us as we move out into the sound it's a really stunning stunning practice so I just wanted to bring that to our attention I know I've talked about it before but it really helps to just get very present and still and we can practice this anywhere right it's really nice to go out into a park you know weather permitting or anywhere where even a mall or something like that where there's people and there's things going on and there's sights and sounds and senses and smells and just so much and just sit and get very present really come in for me it was really nice to like tune into my uh, root chakra <clears throat> and really feel grounded down into that as I'm experiencing all of the senses and really really grounding down into my body and to the the pleasure of all of it the pleasure <clears throat> excuse me the pleasure of being in my body and being in my senses so this is really a gorgeous practice that we you know it's free we can do this anywhere and it really helps us to connect with our body connect with the earth connect with with the magic of these human bodies and just get very present and then we can really hear ourselves as well too this is when spirit and source can speak to us sometimes powerful messages and wisdom comes through when we get really still and quiet but for me this was really more about just like savoring the senses and really really opening to that and this is such an important powerful practice for sacred sexuality this is something that i've mentioned a number of times before and highly encourage you to when self-pleasuring to really go into this and really go into the presence of it get very present with all of the sensations all that's going on in your body all that you're feeling all that's you know coming to that you're hearing maybe you have some nice music playing for yourself maybe you have some incense or candles or just whatever scents are in the room or maybe just smelling your own skin and your own 
body, right? The sense of our gorgeous humanity. Really, really powerful. And then allowing our minds to just come down and move down into our, like our root chakra, our sacral chakra, or any part of our body that we're really wanting to get present with, you know, let our mind, bring our awareness down to where we're touching ourselves, you know, feel that, allow, feel how that feels on the skin, just really tune into that in a really deep and profound way. It's just like, mm, it really opens things up for us and really changes how we are experiencing ourselves, our bodies, our sensuality, everything, our senses. And then take this into our experience with a partner. The more we practice this by ourselves, the more we can get very present with a partner, really coming down into the moment with them really coming down into our hearts with them and sharing that energy with them from a very present place touching them experiencing touch from a very pl present place really freaking important and this is how we shift our sexual expressions and our encounters and we have um, just such a more connected experience a more enriching experience more fulfilling and this is when we can open up to so much more it's not just about like a genital sneeze and attachment to outcome, right? We really open things up for ourselves, really open things up for ourselves. And this is also when the divine can come in and be more present with us, that our own divinity, when we get still and present, we feel the divinity within ourselves and within our partner. So important, so important on the sacred sexuality path is so much about just getting still and present. And then being inside a partner or vice versa, a partner inside of you in stillness there's always so much movement going on try being very still in the encounter see what opens up for you how alive that stillness is it is powerful palpable again that movement can be like an attachment to outcome trying to force an outcome or trying to create something you know it can be wrapped up in the mind too or just out of habit right try stillness see what opens up for you and your partner and try stillness when you're self-pleasuring as well and just put your hand on yourself be still and just really get aware of that what is going on for you what does that feel like what are the sensations what is the mind wanting to do and come in and say you know there's a lot of thought patterns and belief systems and when we get really still with ourselves we can see what's really going on we get a lot more conscious of that of what is going on maybe what needs to be cleared maybe what needs to be moved through maybe what we're ready to release right that's a very very powerful practice very powerful practice and I, I can't emphasize the importance enough of this with sacred sexuality if you're wanting to expand your experience of your sexual energy, your essential expression, etc. Right? Stillness and presence are key. And you can practice this anywhere and then bring it into your sensual experience, right? Let me see if there's anything more I want to say about that. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it can be a really meditative experience. This is also another beautiful thing you can do in yab yum position with a partner and just get very still with them and just feel connected, feel connected at your chakras. This can really open the energy up and you can have a much more energetic experience when you get calm and still and present. It doesn't have to be about physical, just again, movement and friction. You can have these energetic full body orgasms of full body connections with your partner and yourself, right? Again, feel it with yourself, allow the energy to flow, tap into the energy, get very present with your energy. When we're still, we can tap into that in a much bigger way. So much about sacred sexuality is tapping into that energy, feeling it, getting conscious of it, allowing it to flow, merging it, blending it, moving it, flowing it directing it with a partner, with yourself, getting much more intentional and in control of that energy, right? When we're conscious of it and we learn how to move it and work with it, 
can really do so much with it. And this is also where sex magic comes in, right? When we get very intentional and conscious with our energy and direct it, get clear on where we want to direct this beautiful, sacred, sexual, sensual energy that is our life force energy. It's our vitality. It's powerful when we put intention behind it and we utilize it to to put it out into into the universe to create that life that we want to align with what it is we want to align with to release what it is we're ready to release get clarity but really powerful for love and connection and spiritual growth liberation you know, this is also when you can see what's getting in the way of your freedom and expression and liberation when you get very still and get conscious what's coming up for you what's coming to the surface what's running behind the scenes all the time that we're not familiar with because we're just do do doing right the more conscious and present and still we get the more aware we are of what is not serving our highest good and what needs to go what we're ready to let go of what we're ready to move through journaling can be really beautiful when things come up you can take it to that level go go dive deeper into it and journal whatever's coming up for you and do some free journaling, free flow writing, and see what is ready to come to the surface. Excellent. Excellent for releasing and getting clear and present. <sighs> see what else wants to come through about that. Mm. Mm. These beautiful bodies of ours, they're so magnificent. They're so magical. They're so majestic. And we get very conscious with them, get very present with them, come down into them, really really allow our senses allow ourselves to experience them in their fullness in such a rich expanded gorgeous way but we have to get still and present we have to get still and present allow all the energy to come to us allow the so sounds the sights the smells allow them to come to us allow us to take them in in a much bigger way so deep and rich appreciate there's something, I don't know if this was the, oh, some, one of the tantras, but talking about the senses are like gods and goddesses playing in this reality. You know, I know those aren't the exact words, but it was something about that. They're how we experience this reality. They're magical. They're divine. They're amazing. The more present we get with them, the more we're going to really deeply appreciate our experience, our human body, our sensuality, our passion, our life force energy, and the beauty of connecting with another, with ourselves first and foremost always, and then with another. Too much about our body's been shunned and shamed and distorted and perverted and um, made to be dirty and something we're supposed to transcend and, and, and escape and um, and... It's, that's not it. <laughs> that's not why we're here in these human bodies. We wouldn't come here in these human bodies on this planet in this physical material experience if we weren't supposed to like really savor the experience, right? That makes no sense. Why would we be here in these human bodies if we're just trying to ascend and get out of them? And if they're not magical and beautiful, these are our temples and they're stunning and they're exquisite. Let's return back to them, savor them, enjoy them, marinate in them, just like, mm revel in them and all that they're capable of so stunning so exquisite mm, let's see what else wants to come through mm. Mm. i think that's it for now thank you so much for being here and really like try this five minutes a day Again, you can do this outside in a in an area where there's you know things going on. The more that's going on, like the scents and smells of food and um, you know things you can hear and everything, the more you can really really savor the senses. It's beautiful. It's not quite the same in a in a real quiet room. A lot of times, you know, when you're meditating or doing your practice, you want more of a, a quiet experience. But for this one, it's nice to have things going around that you can really just like allow yourself to immerse in, right? And really like mm, let those senses dance and play in the experience, right? And all that's coming towards them. So gorgeous, so gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, five minutes a day. 
like really, really bust things open for you. And breathe deeply when you're in it, you know. And again, breathing down into that root chakra, breathing down into the earth is really gorgeous practice. It really helps to ground into our bodies and into this physical experience that we're here to enjoy and love and savor and have so much fun in, right? Mm. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. It's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with pleasure. We've been led to believe like it's a bad thing. We're not deserving of pleasure or it's um, hedonistic or something. No, 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 no. These bodies are made for pleasure. You know, our senses are pleasure. They're pleasurable. Mm. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I'm just so grateful for your presence. I love walking this journey with you. I love being here in this human body. And it took me a while to be there. You know, I used to want to get out of my body, too. I didn't like it. I didn't. It felt um, like a trap, you know, and because I'd taken on so many belief systems and so much guilt and shame around my pleasure, around my sexuality. You know, that's that's what we're moving out of. And the more that we can come down and connect with our body and uh, revel in it and appreciate it and and shift our our patterns shift our belief systems and um, Switch gears, you know, but it's again getting conscious and this can come up for you as you're doing this practice You know, maybe it will show up for you Old old belief systems aren't serving you around your body, you know So allow that if that shows up for you and trust the process, right? Trust that process. So um, Hmm Yeah, thank you again Thank you again. It's it's gorgeous journeying with you. The sacred sexual path, the sensual path, it's beautiful. Really connects us body, mind, and spirit. It gets us more um, more balanced. We've been too much in the mind, and some people can go too into the spirit. It's a trinity, the holy trinity, right? Body, mind, spirit. We need a balance between all of them. We need to find healthy ways to um, appreciate and engage all of these aspects of ourselves if we go too far into one direction and, and minimize the others and ignore the others it starts coming out sideways it just truly does and we're not whole human beings so we are body mind spirit energy we're emotions we're we're a lot of things we've got to honor all of it and bring it all together all together harmony balance union gorgeous thank you again and um Feel free to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more practices to support you on your journey, um, discussions around sacred sexuality, helping to open up and again bring things out of the unconscious up into the conscious because that's when we can truly really sim and work with them, right? Um, check out my website for so many more resources. Check out the Beyond page. There's a lot on there to support you on your journey. Uh, documentaries, book recommendations. Um, I have a number of one-on-one -on -one sessions to support you as well, sacred sexuality sessions, one-on-one -on -one guidance sessions of a 12-week program. There's so much going on, so much. So if this is a path that speaks to you, you know, reach out. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Where are you ready to go? Thank you again so much for being here, and uh, namaste from India. <laughs> Bye, all.